mean, you have a, a lot of hilarious characters. And I'm curious to know if are any of those characters from Springfield? Oh Ohio? yeah, oh yeah. Uh, my uh, character Elwood P. Suggins is just a, really a product, not just of Springfield, Dayton, uh, like uh, Bell Fountain. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Washington Courthouse in southwestern Ohio. And the guy uh, is, uh, you know, Elwood P. Suggins. Uh, Mr. Suggins, um, I started out doing, uh, he witnessed a saucer. Uh, you're from, uh, you're from Mumford, Ohio. We're with the television crew here. And uh, you and your son uh, saw a flying saucer here uh, uh, just uh, two nights ago. Yes, I did. Uh, I've never wondered if it took to drink. My dad drunk and my granddad and my cousins all drank. I never took to drink. So it had nothing to do with my being an alcoholic or anything of that sort. Uh, my stepson drinks, but light beer, you know, whatever. He was with me, and he wasn't stoned or bombed. He's odd. He's had some bad falls. He fell on his own axe and uh, just almost opened up his head. But he's all right. He'll be all right. You know, he's a good enough field worker. And we had the little dog, uh, Whiskers, and we went out there. I seen this glow, and um, it scared me because I, it wasn't no light off a truck or nothing. It was, uh, it was a flying saucer. And my my stepson put his hands up like this, you know. And uh, the dog barked at the spaceman. He come down the ladder. He looked like, and he didn't have them sloped eyes or anything like that. He, he, uh, he looked like any one of us. He looked like he'd been over, worked over at Wright's Field. And uh, the dog barked too much at him, and the spaceman dissolved the dog. I cried. I said that was the wrong thing to do, dissolve the boy's dog. <laughs> and they got him the ladder, and he went up there, and it was gone. I called the officials, and People at Wright's Field come over in the Air Force, and they didn't know what to do. They said they just uh, they took a lot of pictures and everything. And then your two TV people come over, and that was it. I've lived over here all my life. I've never seen anything like this. It's just powerful, awesome. As the stepson would say, awesome. It's awesome. Well, that's the guy. Maud Frickert came from an aunt I had. Um, I drew on a lot of people that I, I grew up with, and then and actually exaggerated, you know. Uh, uh, I had two, worked with two guys from Kentucky who uh, came over to work at Buckeye Incubator in Springfield. It's gone now. My stepfather worked over there. And I used to pick up 90-pound uh, stoves and trying to get in shape to go in the core. And uh, two guys, we called them the Gold Dust Twins, came over from uh, Northern Kentucky, and I said at a lunch period one time at, at Buckeye, I said, "Tell me, uh, guys, uh, you're from Kentucky. Where did you first work when you came into Ohio?" We was over at the White Box Company, the White Box Company. Yeah, the White Box Company, uh, just outside Dayton. What kind of white boxes? Well, there's a box like this up on top, small where they put ice cubes and things. And then there's a lower part where they put vegetables. They had plastic vegetables in there that looked like real cauliflower and carrots. Well, that would be Frigidaire. That's what I said, the white box company. We knew that they wouldn't be with us much longer. Um, but your material literally is everywhere. You know, it really is. <laughs>